The final round of the Greenbrier Classic is here today, and I can already tell you that the energy on the course is intense and focused. The day we've all been waiting for, the final round of pairings. The purse is set at $7,100,000 and 500 FedEx Cup points. It has been a long, hot, humid, and rainy week of hard work, but today, one will be named the champion of the Greenbrier Classic. The 2015 reigning champion of the Greenbrier Classic, Danny Lee, has been at the top of rankings all week long with determination to win it again. Phil Mickelson made the cut for the first time in his last three starts at the Greenbrier, and with his brother as his caddy, he tells us why this tournament is so special to him. I think anytime you have uh, just a change of environment, it brings about a, a new energy, but more than that, with Tim is one of my favorite people to be around, and we really had uh, a lot of fun to, together today. Um, we just uh, we enjoy being together. He kind of understands my sense of humor. We tell some jokes and laugh throughout the day, and we had a good time. Mickelson improved his score today as he shot 64 and finished 6 under overall. A familiar face in West Virginia, Daniel Obremski, who won the six-man playoff of Monday's qualifier at Glade Springs, played with Phil Mickelson today as he shot 71 and finished one over. Ben Martin has been a fan favorite all week as he shot 70 today and finished four under overall. David Lingworth was able to hang in there this week, finishing the day with two birdies, but also shot three bogeys. The few key players to watch out for this afternoon are Tony Finau and Davis Love. Tony Finau has been rising rankings all week, shooting in the upper 60s. Davis Love says his age doesn't play a factor in his performance. He still wants to win it all. The numbers are in and the morning groups have finished. Matt will announce the Greenbrier Classic winner tonight at 11. From White Sulphur Springs, I'm Paloma Villacana, Newswatch Sports.